Okay guys, so we're on part four and my greens are done cooking and the next thing I want to do is I want to drain off the beet juice because it is purple, right? So we don't want um, all that, you know, beet flavor to be in the greens. We want to convert these to, um, you know, southern greens basically. So let me turn you around so you can see that how, uh, what I'm doing. Okay guys, we need to drain um, our greens because all that beet juice we just don't want the beet flavor in our greens right and I better get my get my little thing so I don't lose all of my don't lose all my flavoring all right hopefully this will work I know it's uh, for a spaghetti pot but we got to improvise guys wow that is like dark purple guys oh and it smells like dirt <laughs> smells like beet dirt whoa all right wow that cooked down so much guys that's crazy i, I just there was a lot in there all right so let's uh turn you around okay so i'm going to show you exactly how much we have you can see the bottom of the pot um, that's a good probably three inches in there um, I don't know how much we'll get out of there because you kind of I mean you don't hard pack them but uh, we should get quite a bit of uh, jars filled with that okay guys so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our base in our pot we drained out our beet juice that we uh, boiled them down with um, so that is what will make the flavor. So let's pour that in there. Get that, get all this flavors in there. And I'm going to do it like this because I don't want it to splatter all over. So then you guys can see what I'm doing as well. Wow, look at all that ham in the bottom. Woo! We better get that out of there. Oh, all those ham flavors. sink and then we're gonna put this back on oh, we gotta light it first put this back on like a medium heat and we're just gonna stir oh wow that smells really good I really hope these turned out because this is a lot of work guys I've been at it since the Sun came up this morning I think it was around like 7 30 when I started picking the beets this morning so i don't know i've never made greens before so this is going to be really interesting very interesting all right so let's let that we're just gonna let that simmer just a minute i mean you, can, you guys can see that looks good i just don't want them to get too like soupy and stuff but i do want them to incorporate the flavor in there Oops, turn that off. Dog on it. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our jars ready. Okay, guys, so the next thing that we're going to do is fill our jars. Our jars are all uh, sterilized, ready to go. So let me turn you around so you can see what we got going on. This is exciting because I've been working on this all day, guys. Okay, so here's our pot and everything. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to try and scoop them out with a little tongy thing okay actually tongs that's what it is tongs guys tongs so we're just gonna take it put it in our jar and guys oh my gosh i tasted the juice and oh man that is an awesome base it really is with that black end and all the ham oh my goodness it tastes exactly like southern green guys southern green mm. it's like so exciting and you kind of want to pack it just a little bit uh we don't want it uh, to be like you know too um floaty is what i kind of say it and you want to pack it till it's just one inch headspace and let me let me show you what that looks like 
see that one inch headspace so fill it to the bottom ring and it'll be perfect man that looks good oh it smells good too it doesn't smell like dirty dirty uh dirty beets <laughs> it smells really good wow and then when we're done fill in our jars and we're going to take the juice and top the jar yep that's how you get that flavor uh flavoring all back in there once you get done packing your jars really simple uh once you get to this stage it's all the prep work guys that takes so long oh my gosh now i know why uh, a lot of people don't do greens because it is like seriously time consuming <laughs> Cause you got to pick it and then you got to cut it you cut the and then you cut it a bit again you cut the bad spots off you cut the veins out the really hard stuff and the woody stalks and then you have to like wash it a couple times which that's really time consuming too so but they're so good i just <laughs> you know i uh i'm really excited because i've never done them before so if I seem overly excited, guys, I'm really sorry, but man, this is my first time doing uh, greens. And I do a lot of research uh, when I do stuff, guys. So I'm not just making this up. A lot of people have done uh, bee tops because you can eat the whole plant, which is awesome. Anytime you can eat it, uh, the whole kind of plant that you're, um, putting in your garden and you're putting on the on the table for your your family that's just I mean that's a win-win right there yeah I think I might I might get 12 pints I don't know if I'll get more than that because I can't believe how much that cooked down guys gosh that was a shocker it really was that was a shock at how much they cook down. So I probably have over half of the pot gone already. Um, so yeah, this takes a lot to make greens. Holy moly. And I hope you guys try, um, try this recipe because man i tried the juice and oh the base is oh my god it guys it is so good so this is a 25 quart pot that um i cooked in cooked these greens in so i'm not really familiar with how much it takes for how many pints or how many quarts yet because this is my first time so you guys are gonna have to bear with me a little bit so I'm gonna finish filling these up and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so I have all the jars filled and I'm too shy from doing 12 pints. So almost a full 25 quart pot only filled 10 jar, 10 pint jars. Isn't that crazy how much it um, cooks down? So let's point you down. Um, next we're gonna do is we're gonna put our lids and our rings on. But first, we're going to move our empty jars over there. We're gonna clean off the tops. Now, you guys can use vinegar, you can use water, you can use um, whatever you feel like, but you just wanna wipe the tops of the jars off so you don't have any excess or anything like that. And I started my, um, my hot water bath canner because we need to get our water up to um, the temperature of the liquid in the jars. So now I know all of these will not fit in my in my little hot water bather either. So we're just going to put in as many as we can, and that's how uh, we're going to do it. Oh, you know what? First, I forgot we need to de debubble. I forgot to debubble, guys. Gosh, dog on it. And if you de debubble right, your your fluid will go down a little bit because you're letting a lot of that air out, and that's what we want. We want 
to settle out the bubbles. Yeah, because then they'll seal better too. Always, always remember to debubble. So you just run your stick along the sides of the jar, getting the bubble from when you fill, from when you fill any of your, um, your, whether it be jelly, jams, tomato sauce, whatever. You always want to de debubble because the bubbles stick to the side and to um, whatever's in there too. So. All right, and it's still, we have one that's a little low, so I'm going to take my scooper, and we're just going to finish film, topping it off, because we still have a lot of yummy juice, so it was this guy right here, and that guy right there, just a little bit, and guys, this juice is awesome, it really is, I'm not kidding. Okay, now we can go back to wiping off our rims. Now that we got our debubbling situation under control. Sometimes you get in a hurry and uh, you forget to do certain steps. And why we do them is actually really important to get a good seal. So try not to um, skip, guys. I, and honestly, I get really excited. When I'm canning, when I'm canning something new, guys, it's exciting to me because, you know, I finally get to the end product after doing all that work, prep, pulling, cleaning, ugh, cutting, chopping, you know, whatever. And then we finally get to the end. So that's what I get really excited about. So, all right, so we're just going to place our lids on there. And before I put my rims on, or my rings, I should say, um, I like to kind of center, center the lid on the jar before I crank, um, before I crank down the ring. Yep. Oh man, that one's stuck on there. Okay, we'll do this other one. All right, so I got my rings over here. So, and how I do that is I take the lid and just kind of center it with my fingers and then I put the ring on, right? And I'll show you on this one because you couldn't really see the other one. So you center it kind of on the jar, hold it, and then put your ring on. Because sometimes your ring gets, or your lid, gets a little off center when you go to put your ring on. And then it doesn't, sometimes they don't seal. And then you get an off weird seal. So I like to center them as much as I can. All right, let's move this guy out of the way. So much stuff going on uh, when, when you can a new product. Um, I don't say product, but you know, something new, it's fun because you've never done it before. So it's really hard to like organize what you're doing. <sighs> and I've been wanting to do greens, guys but I didn't know how, and I didn't know what I could use, what I can't use, but I found a recipe that uses beet tops. So I figured, you know, I need to get that bed, that beet bed out of there because it's, they were overwintered, started them last fall. So it is definitely time to send them on their way and do something with it. So how perfect was that guys? Okay, so I got three, six, nine, ten. I have ten jars, guys. I'm so excited. All right, so let's take this guy off and start putting our start putting our jars in our little hot water bath container. And I think I fit seven in there, or maybe it's nine. I can't re I can't remember, guys. I'm just so excited. I actually found a really cool recipe. Ooh, they all might fit. No, oh no. All but one, how about one guy? Maybe I can squeeze them in there. Woo, I got 10 in there, guys. Can you believe it? Wow, that is exciting. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna lower it in our water. And I don't do it real fast because just in case 
Um, your liquid inside isn't the same as the, the water. All right, and then we're gonna put the lid on it. And then we're gonna boil it, but we're gonna let it boil um, for, what's it say, 20 minutes? Let me look, just for sure. Okay, so this recipe says to hot water bath for 25 minutes and then just take them out. So, all right guys, uh, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you it when we're done. I know this video is a little long, but stick with me because you definitely want don't wanna miss the end product. And if you're new here, so sit, uh, consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. I really do appreciate everybody uh, coming to check out my recipes and, and uh, leave me a comment too. I really wanna know if you guys can something that's kinda not conventional and um, if you're new, what else would you like to see? So stick with me, we'll be right back. Okay guys, our timer has uh, dinged and it's time to take these babies out. I can't wait to see them. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our lid off, right? And we're gonna let the heat dissipate just for a little bit. Let them sit for maybe a minute or so. And then we're gonna raise them up on our rack because I like to get some of that heat out of there, you know? All right, take our rack out. Oh, wow. I can't believe they all fit in there. <laughs> I'm really excited. Okay, guys. Oh, wow. Those look beautiful. I am so excited, guys. <laughs> When I, whenever I do something new, I get so excited. Uh, I wish you guys were here to taste test this because that base, guys, it was off the hook. I'm not kidding. It, I mean, it was, it had flavor. It didn't have any heat. It had multiple multitudes of depth of flavor. And that's what you want in food, especially when you're canning food. It's so hard to lock in those flavors. Um, if you don't start with a good base for, you know, for what you're canning, because you have to kind of think it's going to sit on your shelf for a little bit and you want, you want it to taste good from beginning till like what, say six, eight months later. Yeah. So let me turn this. All right, guys. Doesn't that look good? Hope you guys can see this pretty good. Wow. Look at all that ham and yummy goodness in there. Can you guys see that? Wow. I can't wait. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have me some gelato ice cream after working hard because it took me almost all day to do these greens. So, mmm. Mm. Signing off, guys. Catch you on the next one.